What up, YouTube family? Want to see me unbox and set up a Cisco Desk Pro? It's a conferencing system, kind of like uh, the WebEx board, but small for your desktop. It's supposed to have a lot of real cool features. I can't wait to bust it open and see what it do. If you want to join me, stay tuned. Two boxes. These two boxes hold accessories. We've got a power cord, the uh, Cisco WebEx Desk Pro manual, and this is the kickstand bracket for the back of the unit that holds it up, and a uh, microfiber cloth presumably to clean the screen, right? Uh, in the other box, we've got HDMI cable, USB Type-C connector, network cable, and that's what's in the box. Right here is the pin for the Desk Pro. This is a stylus. That's what it looks like. Feels pretty hefty. Feels pretty cool. Comes with two additional tips. And that's what's in the box. The main unit is all that was left in the box along with the packaging material. I'm gonna lay it down and unwrap it here. All right, uh, looking at the Desk Pro from the back, I've got it laid out on the table here, just took it out of the box. And as you can see, we got some ports back here and I'm gonna go through them really quick. Uh, first two you see yeah. here are USB ports. These are two USB connector ports for you to plug in peripherals, keyboard, mouse, whatever, the, the external webcam, whatever you want to plug in there. Next to the two USB ports, we have a service port. You can tell it's a service port because it has a little wrench right underneath it. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, this is a USB micro B style connector. It's kind of the previous generation Android phone connector. If you, if you recognize what those look like next to that, we've got an HDMI. This is an HDMI output. So you can output your display to another monitor next to the HDMI out. We have two ethernet ports. One's an input and one's an output. The one, the first one here is an ethernet output that goes to ancillary devices that require a network connection like IP phones or another computer. This one here is the one directly from the network. So you would plug your network cable directly into this one. And then you take a second network cable and plug in your ancillary device. This here is an HDMI input. This is so you could input your display from a laptop, for instance. Uh, you just plug your HDMI cable into the laptop, plug it in here, and you have a second display. Uh, the Desk Pro will function as a second display. Next to the HDMI input, we have the Type-C connector, and this is a USB Type-C display charging it does it all display charging whatever you hook up to it it'll do it all lastly we have the power port uh, this is what you hook the power brick up to it is 20 volts 11.5 amps for power and and those are all the ports on the back of the desk pro you've got some little buttons here and these slots is what the uh, stand the bracket stand go into set it down in place there and 
slide it forward to lock it in place. And if we want to release it, we push down the lock button here and here, and that releases it. And this is what it looks like with the stand on it, standing up outside the box. As you can see, there's a speaker array here with, with kind of a, a fabric mesh over it. You got the Cisco logo here, camera. The WebEx Desk and Desk Pro are standalone desktop video conferencing solutions. The Desk Pro has a 27 inch touchscreen 4K display with a 71 degree HD camera, hi-fi speaker array, and beam forming micro -ray. Both leverage AI features like WebEx Assistant, facial recognition, background noise removal, whiteboard collaborating, and virtual backgrounds. They even have the ability to create web apps and be used as digital signage. So I've got this Dell laptop, and as you can see, this is an XPS, a Dell XPS, and all it has is USB Type-C connectors, all right? So I've got a docking station, a Dell docking station back here that has USB inputs and it has HDMI outputs. So we're gonna hook this up via HDMI to the docking station for the Dell laptop. If I didn't have the docking station, I could USB type C straight from one of these ports here on the side, straight into the type c connector on the back of the desk pro and that would work as well but since i do have the docking station this is the usb type c straight connector uh, i don't need to use this i'm going to go straight hdmi so that's how we'll proceed here the desk pro turned out to be a lot bigger than i thought it was now the box was pretty good size but i'm thinking mostly padding but the unit itself is pretty good size. It's a pretty large screen here. All right, so hook up the power first. We'll lift the flap on the back of the stand and we will plug it in to the power spot. Tuck the wire into the little wire guys here. This panel is fully touchscreen, and as you can see, it says change language, has all the languages we speak English. All right, guys, here. Pull off the plastic and scoot it back a little bit. No network connection, Wi Fi, Ethernet, or anything, right? It wants a network connection. So as you can see here, the Desk Pro has uh, network capability and Wi-Fi. So if we don't have an ethernet cable to plug in, we can use Wi-Fi to connect the uh, Desk Pro to our network. And so we'd hit Wi-Fi and it would scan the networks and we would find the network we wanted to connect to, enter the information, and then we would be connected to the Desk Pro. And as you can see, we've got some networks here and we can hook it up, but we're not going to use Wi-Fi. Uh, we're going to connect it straight to the network. Okay, so the next screen will ask you to enter a 16-digit WebEx activation code. You can go get the code from uh, settings.webex.com. Now, if you've got a WebEx account already, you just go to settings.webex.com and sign in and then go to my devices tab and on the my devices if you have devices they will be displayed there if you don't it'll say no devices but it will give you a 16 digit activation code in which to activate a new device and so i've already got my code here so i'm gonna go ahead and enter it Entering code, entering code, entering code. I need to change my time zone. 2150 is the time, but I'm in central. So let's hit the next arrow and see what it says. Setup is all done. 
Warner Bell's Desk Pro is now ready to use. Check. And boom. The system has to update, right? Ah, yes. This is always true. There's always updates coming out. And depending on when you acquire your device, it may need, it may be out of date, may need some updates. Luckily for me, this one looks like it's going to do that automatically for me. I just have to wait the time required for it to update. And so that is what we will do here. And while we're waiting for that, we can take a look at the stylus or pen that comes along with it. And so we'll let that install that software. And uh, we'll take that out, look at that. Okay, yeah. And it comes with two different kinds of tips if you need a spare tip or you don't like the tip that uh, is on it. I don't know if they're different. Uh, thicknesses looks like they might be but there's that okay now you can see that the uh, desk pro has gone into standby mode and you can also see my name in the corner and the time in the other corner you see it's saying hi to me I can tap the screen and it'll bring me into the main control for the WebEx uh, Desk Pro. Now, this screen looks a lot like the uh, smart board, the WebEx smart board. Uh, you can join a meeting here, type in the meeting number, start the meeting. You can share via WebEx share or via cable. Whiteboard, if you need to use any of the whiteboard features and share that. We're gonna trash it, delete. Uh, and then we're gonna exit out of here and, we, and you can do calling. Call your people or you can uh, put in a name, address, or phone number for the call. As you can see here, I have extended my desktop display to the WebEx board and now I'm using both. The, I'm using the WebEx board as my external display. I can still join a meeting. I can still share a whiteboard or share content from another device. I can still make calls from the board, but it's also my second screen. So that is a really cool feature there that I really like. So that's gonna bring us to the end of our video featuring unboxing and setup of the Cisco Desktop Pro here. I'll be making some more videos in the future uh, going over all the features and functionality of the device. Uh, so far, it seems like a pretty cool device. I can't wait to uh, try some new stuff with it. Uh, I'm gonna be adding new content regularly to the channel to try to grow it and i would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos going over various things in the tech industry i appreciate you for coming through and checking out my content i look forward to doing more content for everyone in the future until next video thanks and peace